Hi friends, my name is Sergey Kromchenko and today I'm going to show you how to install and use WebDriver.io image comparison tool or visual regression tool as other people might call it. If you want to be able to easily implement this tool, stay with us all the way until the end. All right. So step one, we need to install WebDriver IO automation framework. If you already have it, let's just keep going. If you don't, click on the link above and I'll show you how to install it. All right, so step number two, let's go to codemify.com, WebDriver IO integrations, visual regression. And here's our instruction on how to install it. So let's copy command for the step one, which is install WDIO image comparison service library and paste it into your framework terminal. Oops, wrong copy paste. Okay, that's the one, npm install. So this one, what this one is going to do is going to add WebDriver uh, IO visual comparison tool to our package.json, which is right there. Awesome. So now let's go back to configuration file and then from the browser, copy this path from step two, which is import path uh, the library into our configuration file. So webdriver.io conf.js, as you most know, that's our configuration file. So let's go all the way up, hit enter a couple of times, paste this uh, import of the path and then let's go into step number three. So update services section in config file uh, to have an extra value. Example contains com uh, Chrome driver as the first one. So I'll show you in a second. Let's just copy all of this and go back to configuration file, search for word services, and here we go. So by default, WebDriver IO uh, is using Chrome driver. So since we're using Chrome by default, we're also using Chrome driver to uh, work with. Uh, some of you might use Safari or something else. It doesn't really matter. If you, for example, have Safari, you simply wrap it around into, you know, square brackets like this, put a comma and then paste your second value here. And that could be, for example, I don't know, WDIO service, blah, blah, blah. I misspelled it, but it doesn't matter. But what we're going to do this time, we're going to simply overwrite it all. Oops, wrong overwrite, copy, paste it. Okay, so now you see same Chrome driver, uh, but now it's inside of an array. So we have our array value, uh, our array of services, and the first value is a Chrome driver, second value is image comparison. And image comparison has all of these options. By the way, uh, look at this one. Ignore nothing. That one, it, that one will specify that we want to see every tenth of the percent, even smaller amounts of, of the percent of the difference between different pages. If we would remove this one, by default, it would check. Uh, it would show you only errors uh, if the mismatch is about one. 0.23% of the difference. So I would recommend everyone to keep it, but it depends on your situation. If you're fine, you know, if there is 1% mismatch, uh, or if, if, if you're fine having 1.23% mismatch or less, that's up to you, but uh, we're gonna go with this one. So now what we need to do is go back to Codemify and copy this describe. So it says create a new spec file and add this into, into it. You can do that, or we can simply use our existing one. I just gonna overwrite everything and show you how it works. So, okay, so we do have an example here. It should first save some screenshots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to codemify.com, interview, interview. Uh, we're gonna save screen, save certain element. I think that one is a side menu. Uh, then save full page screen, and then save tabable page. So let's do one by one, and I will explain to you what does each of them mean. Okay, so let's do command slash, comment everything except the save screen. 
Okay, now we're only going to compare a screen. Uh, so let's run it by typing mpx, run the wdio, and then this configuration file, dash dash spec, which is a filter. So we're just specifying that we're going to run only one spec file. And then I just copied relative path as you so, and paste it in here. Okay, let's hit enter and see what's gonna happen. So we're opening first one, second one, boom, pass. So what does it really do? Save screen. So save screen, it saves only an image of the current screen. It doesn't scroll down. It doesn't sc scroll left and right. It only saves what, what is within a screen and it compares with this one. So first save screen, then navigate to the same page check if what we have currently is the same as what we have saved from from the save screen command. So that's what it does. This one saves, that one compares current view with that one that we just saved. So as URL is the same, there was no difference, so it's not going to fail. So the second one, second one is going to compare only one element. And I will put a browser.debug just so you guys would know what's going on here. I'll walk you through in a sec. Let's run it. Okay, so we open a page, take a screenshot, navigate to the other page. So we're right here, right? So now we're going to compare this selector. Uh, let me just put it down right there. So this one. That's the selector. So as you know, this one is the same because we're comparing with the same page. So uh, for example, imagine that this is your QA environment and this is your product environment. Ignore the fact that URLs are the same in yours. It would be something like QA and this one would be just like code MV5. Uh, so we're gonna let it go and it will pass. But if we run it one more time, and change something related to that. Okay, so we'll go to first one, navigate, second one. Okay, so what if I, let me put it down. What if I find this one and I change the text to something like, this test will fail. How about now? Do you think it's going to pass or fail? I'm gonna let it go and boom, it failed. So the mis mismatch is 29.52. And that's only that, uh, that much because we're comparing super tiny selector, you know, which is like 20 pixels uh, high and 30 pixels wide, just for example. So that's why within that small selector, about 30% of the entire selector was a text. That's why it failed that miserably. So now, since you understand how it works, we're going to move into the next one. So save full page screen. Let's run it and I'll explain to you what's happening here. So what is the difference between save full page screen versus just a save screen? As you can see, it's scrolling down right now. So it's taking a screenshot of every part of the page and then it compares this entire long ass, pardon my French, screenshot with the previous one. And that's basically a difference between both of them. So let's give it a second. Awesome. Uh, okay, so this one is the pass. And let me show you something even cooler. You know, I'm quite amazed what these guys uh, have done. Tag tabable. I want to make sure I'm still recording video. Awesome. Uh, so check tabable. That means we are checking if whenever you hit tab, it goes into the same uh, into the same selector that you've gone previously. As you can see, those numbers right there, 19, 20, 21, those all mean that whenever you hit tab 20 times, that one is going to be number 20. When you hit one more time, it's going to move to your next one to the right and that will be your number 21. So it does it for both pages. And this feature is quite awesome because that's where we recently had an issue in the company that I work for. 
and you know as soon as this stuff is implemented people are going to be quite amazed quite amazed great now you know how to install and use image comparison tool but in the next video i'm going to show you how to dockerize your automation framework and why would you actually need to do so uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss it and give us a big fat thumb up thanks everyone for watching this video and i will see you next time